Well, this is uh, Coach Solomon. I coach currently soccer, other than track and basketball. Been coaching the better part about a good 20 years now. Biggest challenge would be having having some of my boys not be playing both school and club level, but we managed to get it done and worked out. It's a lot of conditioning, running, and really motivation to keep them positive, win or lose. The experience is playing in military, college, and coaching at high school level. It's by their strengths, not so much weakness, but how they collaborate and help each other out to bring all their strength and their best skills. So that makes it the best type of playing. You know? Hi, my name is Zach. I play striker. What I like playing about this with this team is I really like the chemistry. I mean, playing. We had to experiment with positions, experiment with speed, passing, communication, and I ended up coming from the other side of the field to the front, and now I'm a striker, and I'm really enjoying that. So, my strategy for each game, well, mentally, it's always stay positive. You never know until you step out on that field and the final whistle is done. Uh, Max, I play goalie. I joined the soccer team because um, I've noticed we've had troubles last year, um, and we didn't win many games, so I wanted to make a difference. Um, I like the humor. Um, we're, we're getting well, we're getting along, and it kind of feels like a family, um, and it's just a happy environment. Um, my strategy is just to follow coaches' directions and to just watch the ball and stay focused. Well, I get a lot of exercise and I get to have fun too. I did, I, would, I really enjoyed it as a seventh grader and I like it this year too. I probably motivate myself by just telling myself I'm almost done or I can get there or I can do it. I definitely would do it again, it's a lot of fun. Um, I think cross country is really fun. Uh, I get a, a decent amount of exercise and I get to meet a lot of new friends. I did do it last year and I thought it was great. Just relax yourself, um, try not to work too hard during the day, just drink a lot of water and stretch well before you race. Yes, I most definitely would. It's extremely fun and good to do after school for pastime. Okay, my name is Mark Singer and I am the coach of the Cane Creek cross country team. Motivation is one of the keys to success. We give out success magnets and I try to focus on the strengths. One of the things that I try to do is get to know every runner so that I can focus on what they're good at and that's how we get through the season. We try to keep things different at practice. So um, practice is a combination of hard work and conversation. They have all done awesomely this year. I keep track of everyone's time so everyone has improved and uh, by the end of the season we will have improved as a team probably oh, 45 minutes or so as a, as a group and we uh, have won every meet. Strickler and I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade chorus. 
I didn't really know for sure I wanted to be a chorus teacher like in this way um, with middle school until I started doing it. A job just happened to open that was somewhere where one of my friends worked and I wasn't necessarily planning to try to get a job in a school but it opened and they hired me. That's kind of it from there. Well this is my 10th year of teaching and I think really the coolest thing is to be able to teach a new concept to a class and finally see them have that light bulb moment and get it and realize how amazing it is to sing together and there are there are just some moments when you sing something in a group and you almost get tingles because it's such an amazing feeling and to see somebody else experience that and to know that I've been a part of it is definitely one of my favorite things. Gracie and Acred. Um, I like playing games in class and learning new music. Um, when I get out of it this year, I would like to be a better singer and advance in chorus. A lot of middle schoolers are worried about what other people think sometimes or um, just scared to make a mistake and to see so many people that are willing to put themselves out there regardless of whether they fail or succeed um, has been the best thing so far about being here. My name is David and I'm in eighth grade. I expect to be better at reading sheet music. Well I was in Spanish last year and then Miss Rich told me I was good at singing so I tried out for a chorus. I like the most thing I like about chorus is how we sing new music from different genres. I love to take my dog on hikes and and um, hike with my husband. Last summer we went out to the Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming and it was absolutely phenomenal like just to be out in nature and see all of these animals in their habitat and to see huge mountains right next to beautiful grassy flowery valleys it was just amazing to be out um, hiking in the mountains makes me f just feel good as a person like I'm one with the earth <laughs> Life. To succeed. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Mike Wazowski, so that I can walk around like this. <laughs> I'm so happy. What are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know. Probably nothing. Are you going trick or treating? As nothing. Yes. I'm Hannah. I'll always go trick or treating. What is your favorite Halloween movie? <laughs> I don't watch movies. The all the Halloween towns. Oh my gosh, that little walking poster that she has, it's like I want one of those really bad. <laughs> um, what is your favorite holiday? My birthday. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all about me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Winter or summer? Summer. Summer! Bikini weather is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ew. <laughs> okay. What is the point of life? What's the point of life, bro? Despicable me. Despicable me. He's spoken the truth. What's your favorite show? Despicable Me. What are you going to be for Halloween? A minion. A minion. <laughs> are you going trick or treating? No, because there's clowns everywhere and they're trying to eat me. Well, I always have to be a good role model and I always have to cheer everyone on and make sure they're all up and excited to play. Um, I think that cheering everyone on is a big thing and that everybody should be encouraging. Well, I'm really loud and <laughs> so 
I'm a, I think I'm a good captain because I'm always cheering everyone on and I'm always letting people know like what they need to be doing on the court. I'm Savannah and I'm in the eighth grade. Um, it, there's a lot of responsibility because you always got to make sure you do good and that um, they're all doing good. <laughs> One of my strengths on the court is passing. I'm Mackenzie. I am the middle hitter and sometimes passer for the King Creek volleyball team. I'd say one of my biggest strengths on the court is probably hitting, of course, because I'm like real tall and I can get up there and just swing. I think I bring a lot of like joy because I like to make a lot of jokes. Five to six years. I started in 2011. Hi, my name is Braylon and I'm the libero for the CCMS Volleyball. The libero is a defensive specialist and yeah. Yeah, I like being the libero because you get to go for like a bunch, like all, a lot of the balls and it's just really, it's a fun position. Sometimes when there's hard servers, it's hard to dig them up for a little bit over a year. Hi, I'm Coach Burroughs and I coach volleyball. I think that, again, I think this team was just fun and just a good challenge, but a fun challenge because everybody really pushed themselves and did whatever I asked them to do. So um, it was a really good year for me. I had a lot of fun. This year we had one returning player, Savannah Schmidt, and two returning managers, Rainey and Braylon. So we were a very young team and we didn't have um, a lot of girls that had had previous volleyball experience. I've been coaching middle school volleyball for 16 years. I've coached college volleyball and this year I'm coaching for Biltmore Volleyball Academy. Dude, I love food. It puts me in the mood. <laughs>